Hi, I'm David Landwehr, a private practice endodontist from Madison, Wisconsin. This case illustrates how a seemingly straightforward case can become more difficult as the root canal progresses. The patient presented with pressure symptoms after biting down on something hard. However, the tooth had a limited restorative history suggesting a crack as a possible contributing etiology. Tooth number 31 was sensitive to percussion and had an exaggerated response to cold that lingered. The presentation was consistent with the diagnosis of an irreversible pulpitis and symptomatic apical periodontitis. The risks and benefits of root canal treatment, no treatment, or extraction were discussed along with the potential implications of a crack. I will let the patient know that pressure symptoms can persist if a fracture is present on the root surface below the level of the crustal bone. Additionally, we will discuss the potential for bacterial recontamination through a crack if a radiolucency is present at the apex that extends vertically or if a narrow deep periodontal defect is present. In this case, the apical bone was unremarkable and the periodontal pockets were less than three millimeters, suggesting a fair endodontic prognosis for tooth number 31. On entry into the pulp chamber, the canal contents were necrotic and there was no evidence of an internal fracture under the surgical microscope. All hand and rotary instrumentation was completed using copious amounts of 5.25% sodium hypochlorite. The dentin triangle at the level of the pulp chamber was removed with a 10K file and a 2008 vortex orifice opener. The distal and mesial lingual canals were fairly straight and a 10 file was able to reach the estimated working length following orifice opening. However, there was significant and unexpected curvature in the mesial buccal canal that was not appreciated from the preoperative image. This resulted in resistance for the 10 file prior to reaching the estimated working length. At this point, small files could be used or the file could be forced apically, but neither one of these techniques is predictable or repeatable in my opinion. In this clinical scenario, I want to avoid using the tip of the file because the tip is what will create a ledge or irregularity in the root canal space. The 10 file bound several millimeters short of working length. At the point of binding, a 1504 Vortex Blue instrument was used to enlarge the canal one millimeter short of the point at which the number 10 hand file met resistance. For example, if resistance is met at 18 millimeters, I will use the 1504 Vortex Blue at 17 millimeters. After the coronal portion of the canal has been opened with the 1504 Vortex Blue instrument, the 10 file will naturally advance in the canal several millimeters because the 10 file is smaller than the natural canal diameter. Using this approach, I will alternate the 10 file and 1504 Vortex Blue files until working length has been achieved. After the glide path has been enlarged with the 1504 Vortex Blue to working length, Several options exist to create the final shape. In this case, I chose to use ProTaper Next instruments because the off-center rectangular cross-section allows room between the instrument and the canal wall, creating a feel that the canal is bigger than it actually is. And the M-wire metallurgy of ProTaper Next files also ensures a high degree of flexibility and cyclic fatigue resistance. ProTaper Next 1, which is a size 1704 at the tip, and a 2, which is a size 25 at the tip and 06 taper, were used in a brushing motion with lateral pressure on the outstroke. On the final radiograph, the natural curve of the mesial buccal canal was followed and several lateral canals can be visualized. There was no visible evidence of a crack, but the canals were filled below the level of the chamber to allow room for a bonded core. This case illustrates the importance of not forcing files apically until the canal has been opened coronally. And cases like this constantly remind me that many times what appears to be simple anatomy on a preoperative radiograph can be significantly more complex at the time of treatment. Hopefully, using the technique of alternating a 10 file with a 1504 Vortex Blue will allow you to more predictably achieve working length in complicated canal anatomies.
Thank you.